It started really in January because we knew the two dates. We knew um, Ohio State and Miami, Florida. So I was able to get those advanced trips out early. It was easy for Columbus because we drove up, we looked at four hotels, and, and we found one that worked best for us. We knocked that out in January. And then in February, we went down to Miami, and it was a little bit harder because there's, there's a hotel, the Shul Hotel, where we're staying that a lot of teams stay at. And there was two other hotels that bid, but it, the Shul Hotel was the best fit. So I knocked those two out early, and then we just had to wait for the schedule to come out to do the rest. It's, it's one of my favorite things going and looking. You know, when, when we travel places over and over, as long as we have a good experience, and um, you know, we can get our same hotel, then, then I tend to not have to make that trip. Yukon and Temple, you know, I had already done those advanced trips and we've stayed there and we've played there before and comfortable with those hotels. Uh, but with, with uh, New Orleans, even though we were in the Sugar Bowl, we're not gonna stay anywhere near the French Quarter. We're gonna stay out by the airport. So I literally just got back last night. I went and I, I ended up looking at about six hotels and I went over to Tulane's new, new stadium. So I wanted to try to see as best I could where our buses would pull up, where our team would dress. But I looked at every hotel and all the things that happened in New Orleans and who has the best meeting space, and obviously who has the best rates for us and what's gonna be best for the team. Here's what I look for. I look for a place that's quiet, that I can control all the meeting space. That's my first, that if, that's my wish list. That's the first thing I wish for. And then, you know, you look at close to the stadium, if you can, or close to the airport, you look at travel and distance. But the biggest thing that I like, if I can control all the meeting space, I know that we're only going to be the only group in the hotel, that's best for the team. That's really tough because on, for, on the Delta side, and they've been great for us, it, um, is that they're such a large airline that you, you know, going in, they know that we're at a 12-day or a six-day window unless it's already set right now by ESPN. So that makes it really easy. I, I've heard schools that travel with the smaller airlines really struggle with that because um, they, you know, if they're, they don't know if they're playing at noon or seven. So Delta has such a large fleet that they're really flexible. But you know, not knowing that, then also going into all the hotels, you have, you have to plan on every hotel you look at now that it's gonna be a seven o'clock game, the worst case scenario. Because that's the worst case scenario for a hotel because when they commit to a team for a seven o'clock game, they commit to keeping you to about 5 p.m., which really hurts them on the revenue side for the day you leave. The biggest challenge is you, you count on so many different people. Uh, for instance, when we, when we go on a trip, you know, you count on, and we, we have really good travel partners with Croswell and Delta and the people we work with, but obviously the plane's got to make it to the airport. Uh, our buses need to make it here. We screen here now, and then the police escort has to do a good job getting us to the airport. And just all, all, the, all the pieces that you can try the plan as best you can, and you have advanced people is, but you ultimately depend on other people and machines. And, you know, knock on wood, we've been pretty fortunate.